All right. It's been out a while. I haven't had a chance to go over it with you guys yet, but we're going to do that today. It is the new Smart Plans experience. So let's go. It's your favorite tech trainer, Bren Brewer, and we are going over the new Smart Plans experience today. So if you haven't already, jump into command at agent.kw.com and then click on the Smart Plans icon. It's the fourth icon from the bottom on the left-hand sidebar menu. So we're going to go in and we're going to create a custom Smart Plan. So I'm going to click Create in the top right. And I'm just going to give this a name for testing because I want to show you guys how to create a smart plan on your own. You can do this so easily and so quickly. I'm going to create plan. All right, so we're testing. All right, well, there's so many new changes over here. First, on the left-hand side now, we have all of the actions that we can do in our smart plan. In the middle is our actual plan, and on the right is our details. We have compliance and best practices for outreach. You can minimize that if you want. And then we have tips and rules. There's a whole bunch of tips and rules, so make sure that you read through those tips and rules. But then here in the middle, we have day one. We're going to drop a step here. So depending on what you want to do with your smart plan, you're either going to create a task, make a call, send an email, send a text, or add to another smart plan. So let's just send a text message as our first step. That's going to put a step in here, and it's going to put the step on the right-hand side to send text. You can send an automated text, create a text task. So you can do either one. If you don't have Twilio, you want to do the text task. If you do have Twilio, you're going to send the automatic text. Static or dynamic. Dynamic is going to let you do a series of, of uh, text messages. This is for repeating smart plans. For this smart plan, I'm just going to do a static text. And then you can enter your information. I always say hi. And then I enter a merge tag. A merge tag is going to put the contact's name in there for you. So I say hi, add merge tag, and I sent the contact's first name, right? Then I'm going to put a little comma and I'm going to type out what I want to say. And I'm always going to introduce myself because I'm using a Twilio, which is not using my number. So I'm going to say, hi, contact first name. This is Bren Brewer with Keller Williams Professionals because that's the market center that I'm at. And then I'm going to type out the rest of my text. Keep in mind, one credit with Twilio is only 160 characters. When I'm done with my text message, then I'm just going to click add step at the bottom right. And that's added that text message to my day one. Then maybe I want to send an email on that same day, so I'll drag and drop that over. I can use simple, where I can enter the subject and type my email, or I can use designs, where I can select a design that I've already created, save it, and that's going to go into my design. And so this is a happy Valentine's Day one, so let's just pretend like we're going to send that. Okay, so this is my email. My text might say Happy Valentine's Day as well. And then I'm going to click Add Step. Then I'm going to click on Add Day. And then this is going to be Day 2, unless I change waiting for one day. So maybe I want to wait five days and apply the change. This is going to be Day 6. And then you may want to click on Add to Smart Plan and then drag that into day six and then add the details. So after they add to smart plan, you can do um, a follow up or you can pick any of your smart plans. You may be in long term nurture or might be a long term nurture, my long term nurture or a monthly neighborhood nurture, something like that. So I'm just going to pick long-term nurture and it can start any time of day. It's going to work very similar, all of these tasks, all of these actions, dragging and dropping them in. You can add a repeat as well. You can repeat the plan. It's going to ask you how many de de days to delay. You can do zero up to 369 days. And then you can repeat it one, two, three, four, five, six times or unlimited times. And then you click add repeat. And it says plans cannot repeat if the duration is less than 14 days. So we want to go ahead and add seven days to this 
or eight days and then click add repeat. Then we're just going to save the plan. And that's it. You can create as many smart plans as you want. You can see I have 163 smart plans in here. And this new experience makes it so easy. And we just got back from family reunion. So I want you to get in here, make an email smart plan at minimum, and follow up with the people that you met at family reunion. That's it, and I'll see you next week.